we got started with Nutrispear and Avail basically in, uh, I think it was fall of 2007, or actually the winter. And uh, me and Mitch got a call from one of our suppliers uh, through the Andersons, which we had dealt with for years. And uh, we, we value their opinion and, you know, we decided to meet with them. Uh, we do get a lot, of, a lot of calls and a lot of people approach us about new things. And uh, we're a little hesitant usually, but this time we thought we'd listen to it. And uh, Dave Schwartz came out from SFP. We talked to him and uh, went through the whole, whole spiel. And when he was done, we were pretty excited about the possibilities of these two products. And uh, you know, I told Mitch that you know I thought it was something we need to look at, and we convinced our our dad and, and our uncle that we thought it was something we need to look at. Uh, we were still a little hesitant on uh, how fast we wanted to really promote the stuff before we could see it for ourselves. So uh, that's kind of how we got started with our research program. And uh, you know, Mitch helped me, and we kind of got started with the uh, one plot that year was we did Avail Nutrisphere uh, on corn, and we actually stacked the traits we had used. Uh, Avail on our starter, and then we used Nutrisphere on some of the plots uh, side dress. And that first year, we seen a an average of about 12 bushel with Nutrisphere, and the Avail I think gave us somewhere around 10 or more. And uh, from that, we were really impressed, and we got it started on the farmer level. But uh, I'll let Mitch talk a little bit about how we kind of went from there into where we're at today. Mm -hmm. We continued to advance those plots, um, doing the same thing again. The first year, we did it on two by two starter uh, and then the next with 10340 the next year we decided to move to pop up and see if we could get the same sort of results in a pop up starter and tested several different um, kinds of pop up and every one of them showed an advantage with the avail and some more than others and it helped us to decide which products we wanted to promote as far as pop up fertilizers um, and we continued those trials now this is the I think it's the fourth year fourth now or fourth year with the trials and it's developed into a lot of other products and ideas um, and the center of that focus um, to start those trials has been Nutrisphere and Avail uh, and the results we've got from that. One thing I'd mentioned about Nutrisphere and Avail that I kind of really like to start with was you know they they make sense you know economically you know you looked at in 2007-8 you had fertilizer really going up and a lot of guys were looking at how, how can we get more efficiency out of what we're spending you know, instead of just spending more, how can we get more too? So that's what we thought the fit was with Nutrisphere and Avail, and we did really did see that. You know, with our our Avail, it made the phosphate more available. Guys could, you know, when it was very high priced or hard to get, we could use less, put Avail, and still get as good or better results than we were getting before. And that helped convince a lot of our growers. And you know, we were slow to to adopt it, but uh, once it got going, uh, a lot of people seen the benefits, and and it really helped us move forward with convincing them. Yeah, and one thing we saw from our trials was, uh, yeah, we could cut the rates a little bit and, and do as good as we were doing. But if we didn't cut the rates and we added the product, it just kept doing better and stair-stepping up as we applied more fertilizer and used that Avail and Nutrisphere products to make those uh, fertilizer products more efficient. Right. Um, and have seen excellent results on Nutrisphere in four different, three different seasons four different seasons now um, in different weather patterns, wet years, dry years. Um, it doesn't matter, it, it performed and we had good results every year in every situation, which is uncommon with any product to be that consistent. We can physically see, uh, especially in corn, when on the, on the nitrogen side, when we would get into stress periods and we would have the Nutrisphere product out there and the Avail product in the starter, that it did a better job and the corn was healthier, it was able to get through more stress and it just did better for the farmer. Well, I would definitely recommend, uh, you know, for a lot of these guys that are getting bigger and bigger planters and they're going towards a five gallon per acre, you know, pop-up starters, you know, we're definitely not putting as much phosphate down as we used to. So I think that right there is a good fit for a veil. You know, you put the veil with that five gallon per acre of pop-up starter and you, you get a lot more bang for your buck and it's relatively cheap, you know, around $5 an acre to add that in. And, uh, you know, it just fits great. And then a lot of people, you know, we've had pretty volatile weather the last couple of years and, you know, the corn might be up a couple inches and you're debating whether to side dress and you're saying, hey, you know, maybe I should wait. But then you wait and it rains for three weeks and the next thing you know, your corn's waist high and it's stressed. You know, Nutrisphere products has allowed us to be able to get out there a little earlier, side dress it earlier, and not have to worry as much about losing that nitrogen. 
you know, you get the stuff on, it's done. So that's what I would add. Uh, yeah. I would I'd say seen. any, your normal fertility program, uh, you can fit a veil and Nutrisphere into that program no matter what you're doing. If you're doing dry phosphorus, you can, or in dry starter, you can impregnate a veil on your dry phosphorus. If you're doing urea as a nitrogen source, you can impregnate your urea. You can uh, add Nutrisphere to the 28. You can add a veil to the 10340 or pop-up phosphorus starter that you're using. Um, I would encourage anyone to try some, split a field, and you'll see the results, and, and it'll continue to do well, and you'll continue to increase those acres of a veil and Nutrisphere.